Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Izzati Binti Samsudin. I'm the first presenter. So, I will explain about our organizational chart of Sujunjang Restaurant. I introduce Mrs. Farah Iwani Binti Razali as our restaurant owner, Mr. Emmanuel Aaron Elvin Uping Anak Bernadine as a restaurant manager, our finance manager, Mrs. Nurun Adriana Binti Azahari, Mrs. Nur Izati Binti Samsudin as an executive chef. Mrs. Sarah Akila Binti Che Zainuddin as a front of house manager. And our restaurant chef leader is Mrs. Saida Shasha Alia Binti Ahmad. I will talk more about our job description and describing more details of our restaurant particular job opposition. First, as a restaurant owner, Mrs. Farah Iwani are responsible for the regular operation of a restaurant as well as its general direction, profitability, and reputation. Restaurant owners need to build business plan for their restaurant. On a regular basis, they track various facts of the restaurant from sales data to customer response and formulate method to address problem area and concentrate on strain. In addition, they take care of the company development, including menu choice and presentation. So, it means she is fully responsible for matter relating to restaurant management. Secondly, the restaurant general manager is responsible for identifying and educating appropriate workers, maintaining a record of all income and expenses, and coordinating the kitchen staff to build a menu. To be successful, the restaurant general manager should have outstanding communicating skills and a passion for customer service. He is responsible, plan, and guide all restaurant activities for a general purpose. Maintain high food, service, health, and safety quality. Ensure the restaurant productive and successful business performance and the optimum use of staff and resources. For finance manager, Mrs. Nurin Adriana are responsible for a company or organization financial stability, processing financial reports, and designing financial research-based strategies. She also guiding senior executive to make good long-term and short-term business decision and always ensure that the finance of the company are always control and not in critical condition. As an executive chef, she responsible for all of the food coming out of the kitchen. She also responsible for ensuring in a timely manner that the food comes out of the kitchen, monitoring the quality of the food, complying with all food safety laws, designing new food entries, and coordinating the entire kitchen are a few of the tasks of an executive chef. As an executive chef, she also prepare menus, produce regular and weekly specials, design special futures menus, and decide the size of portion food. An executive chef also supervise prep work before and during meals and ensure that all meals leaving the kitchen are consistent in appearance and quality. For front of house manager, all activity at a restaurant are managed by the front house manager except for the kitchen. The form the experience of a restaurant by preserving the appearance of the dining room, recruiting and training quality employees and ensuring good customer service. She managing the front of house team. The front of house manager is responsible for the entire front of house team in its management role such as waiters, commies, head workers, sommelier and so on. This role also organizes the work, schedules, working hours and maintains compliance with the rules of hygiene and safety. She also 
ensuring that the client gets the warmest welcome possible. It is also the responsibility of the head of the house manager ensure that the client enjoys the warmest possible welcome. Last position is restaurant shift leader. As a shift leader, Mrs. Saida Shasha Alia is responsible to support other workers with their everyday tasks and to ensure that the priorities of the organized are rich. In addition, shift leader plays an important role in customer care as they are run at company standard to ensure a good experience by training and managing operation. In general, shift leader have a firm knowledge of the philosophy and strategy of the company as they are usually recruited from within the company and have previous experience in the position of those overseas. She also track and control the timely arrival of planned workers, be mindful and unexpected issue such as conflict preparation and ensure that the company is properly staffed all of this to assist in the management of the restaurant in order to ensure effective operation okay next i will discuss about type of cuisine a cuisine is a specific variety of tradition and practice of cooking often related to a particular culture or region in a particular style, each cuisine requires food preparation, food and drinks of specific aspect to produce individual consume items or separate meals. In our restaurant, which is Sejunjang restaurant, is a fine dining restaurant which is used type of American cuisine and provide table dot service to our customers. As I mentioned just now, we are provide table dot service to our customers. A common table dot setup feature a diner selecting one starter from two choice, one entry from for two or three choice, and one sweet from two choice. And therefore, the total word doesn't amendment. The table dot theory of service simplify the preparation of food for the restaurant by reducing the amount of dishes that need to be cooked at one time. Since the food to be served is predetermined, table setting may be arranged ahead of time with the appropriate culture. Have three set table dot menu that available at Sujunjang restaurant and I will clarify one by one about the menu that provide in our restaurant. Each menu costs 45 Malaysian ringgit per person. Our menu starting with three choice of appetizer, three choice for entry, and dessert. Besides that, we also provide two types of drink for free. Like for this first menu, we provide tea latte and mango nectar juice. So, the first set menu is our customer can choose of appetizer that provide and our customer can choose one of them which is like boldin balls with remoulade sauce or tomato basil bruschetta with balsamic drizzle and tuna with bean salads. All of these using fresh ingredients. For entree, we have smoky cheeseburger with chicken, also balsamic marinade portable burgers and grilled lamb cutlet with black pepper sauce. If our customer done with entry and appetizer, we will give dessert, which is creme brulee. Secondly, our menu also starting with three choice of appetizers, three choice of entry and dessert. We also provide two types of drink for free, like steam mix with flavors and hazelnut frank. For appetizers, our customer can choose any one from three types of menu that provide, like sweet and spicy chicken lollipop, potato salads, and herb anti-pesto with shrimp salad. For entry, our customer can make a choose what they want. The menu is like rosemary sirloin with Robert sauce served with baked potato casserole, blue cheese stuffed hamburger, and grilled squid rings with vegetables. 
if they already done, we'll provide trio banana split that use ice cream. And I will make sure it's very delicious. Our last menu also provide with three choice of appetizer, three choice with entree and dessert. We also provide two types of drink for free for sure, like brewed coffee and all American honey lemonade. As usual, our customer can choose any one from three types of menu that provide, like classic clams casino, mushroom beans, and beef with mushroom salads. For entree, also, our customer can make a choose what they want, like Norwegian salmon with lemon butter sauce, spring onion ginger fish fillets, and Manhattan fish cheesy chips served with honey mustard sauce. If our customer done with entry and appetizer, we will give dessert, which is apple brown patty. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurin Adriana Binti Azahari, DB190024, and I'm the second presenter for second sections, which is specification. So, let's start with identifying what the purchase specification is. Basically, a standard purchase specification is a brief description of the quality, size, weight, or computational factors required in a particular item. The specification is an overview of the purchase. The purchase of specifications will provide steadiness and consistency to the purchase and receiving where it will help to maintain the cost of food inclination and generate a standard product. The purpose of performing this specification is to provide clear instructions to the purchasing personnel for the purchase and to provide clear criteria for the acceptance of the product or service to the vendor which is also a requirement of the purchaser. The use of standard specification in purchasing is very important and good because accurate specifications can also reduce the cost of purchase. In addition, the restaurant should also ensure continuous quality in menu items. The restaurant can also follow for fair competition between suppliers and reduce costs. Apart from choosing the right item specification in the purchase, the restaurant also needs to buy the right amount of ingredients. If a restaurant makes too many purchases for items at once, it only involves importing capital tied to inventory, but the purchase items are easily perishable, especially frozen foods that do not have a long-lasting freshness. Controls and procedures for any purchase of restaurant's item where the wet food and others should be implemented to prevent such thing from happening. The purchase specification procedure consists five of the following steps. The first one, set the purchaser where not everyone who is not familiar with the purchase will make the purchase of materials. Secondly, determine the product to be purchased by specifying the product specification. Third, estimate how often and how much to buy at one time. Fourth, choose the method of purchase based on the needs of the organization. And lastly is choose a vendor to buy. In addition, setting a food purchase specification is very important for every food service business as it helps in controlling costs, maintaining restaurant standards, and producing good products. As for the written specification, it is required for well-organized food service operation, especially in reputable restaurants. Once the specifications are written, then the supplier, the receiving clerk, and the food service manager will be able to control if the product received is as ordered. Based on what has been stated about the purchase specifications, it turns out that it can be defined as a detailed list of features desired in the product for a particular use in the restaurant. The specifications used in the restaurant and food service industry are much more formal. Specifications in the purchase of the product that want to use in the restaurant also can explain the desired use, grade and size and other product characteristics. When in a restaurant, purchase specification will be provided with the help of head of department like restaurant manager who normally handle the ingredients in the restaurant because they know better about the specification of the best item for their restaurant. Specifications should be documented so that buyers and suppliers are clear about the buyer's purchasing needs. All specifications for foodstuff should contain the subsequent information such as name of products, name of the supplier, food grade, date manufactured, product use, quantity, weight, unit price, product characteristic, and packaging. In order to maintain purchasing standards and product standards for a restaurant, the restaurant itself needs to maintain the quality of food provided. Among the quality care that should be emphasized are considered to be different components in terms of five quality measures. The first one, physical interpretation. 
Physical interpretation is where the purchasing department must know the physical characteristic of the product that is expected to be acquired. For example, if a certain green color is required for, the, for that required content, the purchasing department must be able to convey the request to the prospective supplier to ensure that the specifications can be met. Second, dimensional metrics. For dimensional metrics, part must comply with precise dimensional requirements in order for parts to be used by machine manufacturers. For example, if there is only 4 grams of salt per pack in the manufacture of the processed food, then the supplier must be able to find the goods with the correct requirements when purchased. Third, composition of chemical used for food. For source materials used in chemical processes, this is particularly relevant. A comprehensive list of chemical specification of the appropriate materials should be provided to the purchasing team by the quality department. This should include as well as the variety that must be in it, a list of uh, phases and standards that the materials should adhere to. Furthermore, if the component is necessary to withstand a certain strand of function in a certain way, a supplier that can meet the specification must be sought by the buying part. Fourth, specification for results. For instance, a certain force must be able to withstand um, and not fail in a certain amount of rotation on restaurant necessities such as tablecloth, chairs, and napkin use. If they deliver reliable finished products in the eyes of the consumers, this quality assessment is key for companies. Lastly is name of brand. Finding a supplier who can supply spare parts that meet the quality requirement is, re is really critical for the purchasing department. The quality department will also tell the purchase department just to get a certain brand name. This may be due by the unique nature of the components produced by one corporation or the standard of quality owned by rivals. Therefore, ensuring the consistency of a restaurant must be observed. So based on the five quality measure of factors that mainly concern with the restaurant to sustain their own quality standard, there are some advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is where the purchaser allowed to purchase from more than one supplier for a certain category of goods. The specification shall ensure the identity of the good purchase. Secondly, the specification provides the purchaser inspection department with an accurate standard on the incoming material that can uh, become inspected, measured or checked correctly to ensure the uniformity of the quality of the material purchase. Next, more supplies are included in purchasing requirements to make a bid and they all know exactly what is needed and they also know what other supplies have to offer. Lastly, different factors such as efficiency, sale potential, availability of raw materials, customer acceptance and others are taken into account to provide requirements. Therefore, as the above benefits are provided to them by the, by the retailer, customers receive more advantages than requirement. But behind of all the advantages, there are also some disadvantages from specification purchasing in terms of quality. The product of each manufacturer is special and the customer buy the product of a particular manufacturer because they are confident in the manufacturer's unique skills. Not only that, products purchased according to specification need a thorough inspection to determine whether or not the item meets the specification specified. This has proven more costly and the products with a brand name require periodic inspection only. Lastly, if the, purchase, if the purchaser purchase the goods in compliance with the requirements and the product is not acceptable, even if the supply complies with the good condition of purchase, the purchaser is responsible for, for the un, uh, unsatisfactory output of the good. So that's all for specification. I pass to my friend Saida Shasha Alia to explain about ordering procedure. Hello and Assalamualaikum to everyone. So we will continue with ordering procedure. Ordering procedure have four objectives. First, make sure that the system is built that will certainly satisfy customer service. Second, designing a device capable of accommodating large amounts of orders at one time. Third, it is a system that in terms of security, user friendliness, accuracy and reliability to access efficiency and acceptability. Fourth, to facilitate contact between the customer and the server and to minimize during ordering time. Ordering procedure have four steps. First step, create purchase order. Second step, send out request for quotation, which is RFQ. Third, analyze and select vendor. Fourth, negotiate contract and send purchase order. 
We will go with the first step which is purchase order or PO. A purchasing order which is PO is an official document drawn up by Chunjang Restaurant to approve a purchase agreement for the supplier's product or service. POs plays an important role in managing companies' transactions. As you guys can see, this is the sample purchase order for Junjong Restaurant. In the form, there is the Junjong Restaurant logos, Junjong Restaurant's address, and the vendor's address. This form will be sent to the vendor for our buying items. Second step for ordering procedure is send out request for quotation, which is RFQ. A request for quotation is also known as a quote. It is a document that will be sent to a prospective customer by a supplier that lists the proposed price for the products or service from the suppliers. Typically, the quotation is produced on the basics of certain criteria stipulated by the client. So, as you guys can see, this is the sample request for price quote form of Junjiang Restaurant. In the form, there is our uh, restaurant's logos, our address, restaurants, and the list of the items that we want to know the price from the suppliers. The third step for ordering procedure is analyze and select vendor. In order to select the best vendor for our restaurants, here are a few steps for selecting the best vendor to be our supplier. We can use them as is, use more or less, or use a different combination of eight depending on the situations. There are eight common selections criteria for suppliers. First, cost. Second, quality and safety. Third, delivery. Fourth, service. Fifth, social responsibility. Next, convenience or simplicity. Next, risk. And lastly, agility. So, this is the two sample of quotation from suppliers for us to compare which one is the best vendor to select. So this is the last step for ordering procedure, which is negotiate contract and send purchase order. When we, as a buyer, create a purchasing order by formally approving the seller's offer or proposal, a binding contract for all parties is created. For this reason, it is necessary to note that based on the terms and conditions laid down in the offer and the purchasing order, the purchase order covers both the buyers and the sellers against any eventuality or dispute. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Farah Iwani binti Razali. Metric number DB190137. And now it's my turn to present about receiving in our restaurant. Receiving is when a food service operation inspects the product or item and takes a legal ownership and physical possession of the items that have been ordered. This is to ensure that the item and commodities ordered are delivered matched to the quantity and quality specifications. At Sejunjang Restaurant, there are four main objectives which are number one commodities that have been ordered are in the right quality and quantity by following the specifications objective number two the quantity that has been ordered match the quantity that have been stated on the purchase order form accordingly objective number three Items that have been ordered and received and delivered at the right date and the time as needed. Objective number four, the prices that have been stated on the purchase order form are following the cost that have been indicated in delivery notes. Alright, next we move to receiving sheets. 
Alright, so this is delivery notes. Delivery notes usually are brings along with items and commodities that supplied. Before the goods are delivered to food premises or our restaurant, the supplier will fill out this form first with a list of items and the quantity that has been ordered. It is essential or necessary for suppliers because they can check um, if all the items ordered can be shipped or not. To avoid mistakes, Delivery notes should also be compared with the other sheet that have been contained in the purchase order form. Alright, so this is invoice. Invoice is a bill uh, sent by the supplier to the premises. It uh, records the cost of each food item that has been delivered to the premises. Invoice should be sent by the supplier to the restaurant Preferably on the same day, the goods or item or either commodities that are have been delivered. A copy is required to make notes in the balance sheet, stock records and others. So this is credit notes. Credit notes are used when the supplier's goods are not satisfactory or not as desired due to the unsatisfactory quality. Credit notes are also used when the items written in the invoice are incorrect. Alright, so for example, the price charge is higher than it should be. In terms of uh, appearance, credit notes are almost identical or same to the invoice. But uh, what, the, what differentiates between these two is that invoice are printed with the using by black ink while credit notes are using blue inks. This is statements. Statements summarizes all invoices and credit notes sent to us by the supplier for the previous period as ordered last month. It usually comes once a month uh, and it also shows the amount that has not been or has been paid to the supplier for the previous uh, account period. We move to the receiving sheet, uh, still in receiving sheet, but receiving sheet uh, that records maintain a receiving department. Good receive books or notes. Our restaurant has their own item recorded, which is specially designed suit uh, our own restaurant needs. Each of the items like meats, uh, poultry, vegetables, frozen foods and also dry products have uh, its own good received notes. This uh, will help us uh, to keep track on how much that quantity under various types of the item or commodities that we receive on that particular day by suppliers. Alright, next we have the receiving clerk's daily report. The receiving clerk shall conclude the daily food receipt report at the end of each day on invoices uh, obtained for the items bought and shipped on that day. This report summarizes all the daily deliveries of food to the establishment. The key aim uh, of the daily food report received is to summarize the purchase for the day. However, uh, this regular report can be compiled uh, on a daily basis by transfixing the totals of the column to the description of the receiving report. Alright, so we move to the receiving method. Alright, so there are two methods in receiving which are invoice receiving and blind method. So, at our restaurant which, is, which are Snoojang restaurant has choose blind method as our receiving method. Blind method uh, is a method that involves uh, providing an invoice or purchase order. The responsible person that in charge in receiving department will quantify each of the item that has been delivered. They also need to count each of the item the exact quantity that has been ordered. This method gives the better receiving results. Form that are uh, need to be used during this receiving item is uh, purchase order, delivery notes, and also good delivery notes. 
Lastly is good receiving practices in our restaurant. Receiving goods, item or commodities is a common method for product selling business. It is frequently ignored as an environment that could benefit from optimization. However, since inventory is like a fundamental to the business model, anything that happens from that moment it arrives of the receiving door, it is important and necessary. All items that have been purchased have its own particular purpose, whether it been used internally or merchandise to be sold to the consumer directly. By having a good practices and always keeping track of all the items that receive in receiving department, it helps by ensure that the item is delivered accurately and correct items are received and placed in suitable places in an appropriate place. By following a group receiving practice in receiving items and commodities, it also might help in ensure an, an effective facility and detect any problems with suppliers or vendors during receiving items. There are five good receiving practices in our restaurant, which uh, are the delivery item matched to the purchase order, item needs to be checked for quality of each item received, log receive items, allocate storage space and notify our accountants uh, payable department. Salam sejahtera, my name is Emmanuel Aaron Elvin Upi Anak Bernadine, DB190118. I would like to present for managing food storage in Jujang Restaurant. What is food storage? Alright, food storage is the process in which all raw materials are processed without any entrance or replication of microorganisms in suitable conditions for future use. That is stated by Jane Vane Dan Brawl in 2020. Food storage management is the system for tracking what stock comes into the restaurant, what inventory leaves the restaurant, and what's left over in the storage. In short terms, and easy to remember is, food storage is a very useful uh, to store food to keep it fresh in a long term with suitable storage areas. Food commodities are often stored in a number of effective ways. However, the product itself would be the primary factor in the selection of the most effective storage system since there are commodities which need to be secured against environmental conditions, deterioration or physical harm. Restaurant inventory or food storage includes keeping a track of raw and manufactured commodities. It is considered food costing and prevent any wastage of the commodity. It is a procedure for tracking the products and services that have a real-time changes. And it is also tends to make food and beverages services and stock orders more economical and saving more in food costs. Next, for the person in charge of the storage is a storage manager or store manager. The main job scope of a storage manager is to handle the entry of new stock into the storage areas, keeping stock invoice and record to facilitate the stock um, storage process. Besides, manage all controllable cost to keep operations profitable, manage stock levels and make key decisions about stock control. Some restaurants still rely on the old system, which is pen and paper, but Junyang restaurants are using digital technology to manage the food storage more effectively and systematically. The effectiveness of food storage management is important and it is a day-to-day -day activities and long-term strategies. Alright, for Junyang restaurant storage management, uh, the reason of using FIFO method or FIFO method practice is because it is the effective ways to manage the food uh, storage in Junyang restaurant. Alright, first in first out method practices is um, method which is the first items received will be the first items to use, F-I-F-O, first in, first out. 
this method is important because it is to minimize this uh, food spoilage or food wastage when prepare the ingredients for the cooking process. By using this rule or method, um, the restaurant can protect both food quality and food safety. Another way to ensure food use before spoilage is by opting for clean containers and dispensers that are suitable for FIFO dispensing. It is sure that storage space and products are clean and hygienic. This should be able to the storage areas to keep it dry and safe from pests. This FIFO method can be applied inside the cold storage areas and dry storage areas too. This method is more systematic for restock new stock process. Here are the illustration about the product first in, that is means newest, and first out means the oldest stock, as you can see here. All right, next, advantages of FIFO method or FIFO method. The advantages are it is easy to apply and more systematic. It can make the area to be more organized, neat, clean, and tidy. It helps food establishments cycle through their stock. It can keep the food uh, more fresher. This constant rotation helps to prevent mold and pathogen growth. When employees monitor the time food spends in the restaurant, especially in the storage, they improve the safety and the freshness of the food. If they have advantages, it will be have disadvantages too. So disadvantages of FIFO method, it can be become a little bit of clumsy, complicated, and difficult to handle the stock and the respective cost of each batch if the places many order for goods that have fluctuating or price of the items are not fixed. The cost of the stock is based on the oldest inventory based on prices that may no longer relevant for analysis conducted after the end of the period. Thus, additional work will might be needed to adjust for inflation and other factors affecting um, inventory price to get the suitable figure. And lastly is high risk in mistakenly uh, staking old stock is placed at the end of the shelf and the new stock is placed at the front. All right, for the next one is Junyang Restaurant um, Storage Equipment. All right, Junyang Restaurant um, uses food storage equipment which is divided into two main equipments. One is um, namely dry goods storage equipment and uh, wet or refrigerated uh, goods storage equipment. All right, both of these equipment um, greatly guarantee the freshness and safety of the stock received during the receiving process. All right, I will go for the first one is dry goods storage equipment. For dry goods storage equipment, um, when stocking the commodities for non-perishables and um, dry stock will be kept in the dry goods shelf in the dry stock area. This will be ease the searching of product because it is, has been separated while receiving stocks. The most suitable um, temperature for dry goods uh, storage areas are 10 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. Shelving must be at least uh, 15 meter, uh, centimeter sorry, above the floor and do not uh, store items right on the floor. All right. The space between another shelf uh, to another shelf uh, should be wide. wide um, enough to allow uh, room for carts, for trolleys, uh, which uh, should be used to prevent uh, possible injuries from lifting. Junior so restaurant also are uh, practicing segregate the dry stock and wet stock. Means segregate is to separate the two stock in two different categories. All right, here are some example of dry stock shelf. Okay, first of all is epoxy shelves. 
Epoxy shelves or epoxy shelving is a durable metal um, wire shelving um, covered with an epoxy finish that makes it suitable for the weight atmosphere or a walk-in kitchen or a dam kitchen. They are sold in varying um, heights and widths, uh, making for a wide variety of storage choices too. It can also come with customizable uh, shelf and the option to buy extra shelving uh, to provide more room within the rack. Um, this shelf has a roller in the, uh, in the bottom so that it can be easily to move the cleaning uh, move when cleaning uh, the dry storing area. Right, going to the second one is cam shelving. All right, cam shelving units uh, contain solid polymer composite materials and are one of the best shelves in commercial kitchen in the restaurant. Right, the composite material is as solid as a steel. It can handle loads up to 60 kg per shelf and it's up to 60% lighter in weight than steel. Unlike other restaurant um, wire shelving, these shelves are also easy to set up, easy to customize, easy to modify the settings. Um, cam shelving also um, featured a hygienic style that is non ferrous clean and also has antimicrobial protection. The cam shelving um, unit promise um, shelving for a lifetime. This will ensure that the stock uh, can be arranged systematic according to the categories. This, shelvi, uh, this shelves also can put in a label name on it, which is the stock can be stored and found easily. This is ensure that the cam shelving um, units are remain rust free or rusted free. Or cold or refrigerated good storage equipment. Um, Sujunang restaurant managing perishables and wet good stock um, in Sujunang restaurant. Um, this will be kept in the walk in chiller at the wet good stock area. All right, this equipment is uh, important to keep the freshness of the stock and it can be last longer, even longer. It should be monitor the temperature of the cold storage equipment every day. A thermometer should be given to all our refrigerators so that the regular readings can be obtained. Here, as you can see here, this is a walk-in chiller. This is uh, one of the most famous um, chiller that we can found in like most of restaurants will um, use this equipment and it is also important uh, for storing wet goods uh, stock in the walk-in chiller for the correct uh, stock rotation also it can be uh, obtained um, the FIFO method too when a new stock um, arrives the items should be put at the back of the rack in the chiller so that the current stock is used first. Staff can um, still know how to take the goods uh, from the front and a label displaying the dates on which the goods arrive will be more helpful. Right, Walk-in chiller have regular medular cold room chambers for cooling and or freezing meats, fruits, uh, vegetables or other fresh products stored inside. The walk-in chiller um, have two uh, main section or two separate section. That is, um, uh, this is a normal cooling and freezer for freezing. For suitable uh, storage uh, temperature for walk-in chiller can be optional um, for uh, 4 degrees Celsius for refrigerated stocks and negative 20 degrees Celsius for freezing meats or other frozen stocks. You can see here is the illustration of the walk-in chiller. Bean cut is known as a record cap by the stock department uh, under the inventory stock scheme, uh, which displays uh, the quantity of materials purchased, distribute, and the balance in hand after each receipt and issues. It is often um, referred to as a stock card or a bin tag. It is a statement 
uh, if all receipts and issues of stock contain come from the store's department. This is to maintain by the store in charge or the storage manager and it is kept inside the department store. It is to record the amount of products and updated as a receipt and problems are made in the warehouse um, department. It is also uh, provide information about minimum level or maximum level of stock received. All right. As you can see, um, this side, uh, this is the sample of Junjang restaurant bin card. You can see the uh, the criteria that it's needed in the bin card is such as um, item description, you need pack size, uh, maximum level, reserve stock level, the cost, minimum or reorder level, order quantity, item code number, location, and lead time. At the um, table area is stated uh, that received from or issued to number receipt uh, sorry, number received, uh, number of issued, the new balance, remarks, and signature. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum to Madam Lisa and my friends. First, I want to introduce myself. My name is Harakila Benti Cezanuddin. Today, I want to present my part that is the last topic in this uh, presentation about conclusion and recommendation. The conclusion is about Junja Restaurant. Uh, first, Junja Restaurant has used a fine dining theme and the menu they use is Table Dot, uh, where the food will be included with a various type of dishes uh, such as appetizer, uh, entries and also dessert that will be charged based on the total price in the uh, menu. In the Junja restaurant also has a few process about to manage uh, Junja restaurant. There is specification uh, to the raw material uh, or any else product that used in the restaurant. Second, ordering, ordering process. Third, receiving process. And last, uh, food storage uh, management. Next, uh, specification of raw material. Specification of raw material used in producing the menu or food product must use raw material that meet the specification set by the restaurant to ensure the quality of the product is being good. This uh, specification made to provide information and explanation on the clear criteria to, uh, to the personal buyer then for the vendor, this uh, purchase specification is uh, given because to explain to the vendor information for the acceptance of material or service or uh, which one of the condition of the buyer. Next, uh, in ordering process. Ordering process is a system in ordering the right raw material and also easy to understand by the vendor for the use of Junja restaurant. There are two important documents must use in ordering process that is a purchase order document or PO and second is the request for quotation uh, or RFQ. The purchase order document or PO is an official document made by the Junja restaurant uh, for the approval process in the agreement to purchase a material or service to the supplier. This uh, purchase order uh, document is an important document because uh, it involves uh, in it involves with a withdrawal of company's transaction. Second document is a request for quotation. This RFQ document will be sent to the supplier to get a quotation from the supplier regarding the quotation of, for the raw material sold, sold by the uh, supplier. The receiving uh, process. 
uh, receiving process is a third process in the in to manage the Stunjan restaurant. The receiving process is an operation that involves uh, receiving food. The thing to do is to inspect the material, take a legal and physical ownership of the goods or order. In this uh, uh, receiving process has two documents. That is a uh, document by the supplier and the second is the document record maintained in a receiving department. The first uh, document is the supplier document. In this uh, document, it is, it is divided uh, into four things. That, uh, that is the supplier need to submit to the finance manager of Junja restaurant. Uh, is uh, deliver notes, invoice, uh, credit notes, and also statement. Uh, first, uh, deliver notes will uh, usually be sent by the supplier on uh, with the goods and commodity order. Second, invoice. Invoice is a bill sent by the supplier to the premise. Uh, third, credit note. Credit note uh, are used in the event of dissatisfaction with the uh, respect to the goods sent, sent by the supplier. And also, if there is an error in the item written uh, in the invoice, uh, for or last is statement. This statement refer to, to the amount uh, paid or unpaid to the supplier on the previous account. The second document is a record maintained in the receiving department. This uh, document has two things that have been prepared by us, uh, namely good uh, receiving notes and also receiving clear daily report. Uh, first, uh, good uh, receiving notes are to record each item available, for example, such as meat, uh, chicken, vegetable, uh, fruits, and so on, including uh, spice that show their own receipt note. Uh, the second is a record maintained in receiving is receiving clear daily report. Receiving clear daily report is a report regarding goods received or purchased at uh, retail. For example, the floor, the floor runs out so the restaurant uh, must uh, first buy the floor in the quantity it wants to use in the retail before ordering to the supplier. Uh, next is the receiving method. Has uh, two methods, namely uh, blind method and invoice uh, receiving. Junja restaurant has used the blind method as a method of receiving for the restaurant. This method is a result of the receiving of our restaurant which, uh, which has uh, become better and also in terms of uh, accuracy and efficiency of reception is also the highest. Uh, and next, uh, for uh, receiving practice, there are five good uh, receiving practice in our restaurant that is ensure the item is uh, receiving is match to purchase order check the item to ensure the quality of uh, each item arrive long receive item allocate uh, storage space and notify accounted or financial uh, department uh, food uh, last point for the part conclusion is a food storage management Food storage management is the system for tracking what stock uh, come into the restaurant, what inventory leave uh, the restaurant and what, what the leftover in the storage. In short term, food storage is very helpful to store food to keep it fresh in long term with, uh, with a suitable storage area. The person in charge of the storage is storage manager or store manager.
Okay, uh, now I continue to the next uh, presentation about topic uh, recommendation. The uh, In this uh, section is uh, recommend, there are three suggestions that can further strengthen uh, the smooth management for of the Junja restaurant. That is a uh, first higher skill worker, second cost management, and third uh, time management. First uh, higher skill worker. The worker must to know the tasks are chosen by themselves when they come to the interview. For example, a store manager position. So, the person has to know the tasks that store manager do, such as handle the entry of new stock into the storage uh, area, keeping stock invoice and record to facilitate the stock storage uh, process okay the second is cost uh, management cost management is an important thing in managing a restaurant uh, for example we must uh, identify aspect uh, properly uh, to manage a uh, cost uh, to manage a uh, cost uh, such as shop rental cost, electricity and water cost, as well as material cost that has to manage cost uh, properly. Uh, last, okay, final is uh, time management. Time management is a uh, last uh, proposal to be proposed to improve the Stunja restaurant in the future. Because every human being should have a responsible attitude in time management. Because time uh, is a very important to every uh, people in the world. Uh, such as uh, coming to work on time, doing tasks uh, directed by the restaurant owner according to the set time and so on. That's all from me. Thank you.